Yeah, all right, guys, welcome to another Drone Nation video. Well, today we are looking at the bot grinder hype trains. All right, guys, so just a little bit of an update for you, really. Um, obviously, as you know, I've been I'm in the process of building said new race quad, um, and I've already got three of the motors installed, but. Obviously, I need to do a little bit of a, a, a video on, on my thoughts on these. So, well, I'll give you a little bit of background. I normally fly, well, I used to fly the Cobra 2207, 2450s, and I used to, oh, I like the way that they fly, I like the power curve on them, I like the, just the general, the, generally everything about them, to be fair. Uh, let me see, I think I've, I've left my soldering iron on. Um, so, now that Cobra aren't doing motors anymore, um, well you can't seem to get hold of them to get motors anyway, then the only other thing they could do was obviously switch uh, and the next best thing after seeking some advice was the hype trains. Um, I went with the bot grinder ones just for the, the, the construction of them to be fair and I like the colour as well but it was mainly the construction and they've got a, a couple of extra legs on them which I'll show you in a minute. Um, which in turn to me would make it be stronger um, also the base plate on it where it mounts onto the frame slightly thicker than the standard high trains as well so in theory that should make them last a little bit longer and obviously with the, the speeds that you do when you're racing there's a damn good chance you're going smashing the smashing one up so ideally the stronger the motor you can get the better so anyway i'll stop rabbiting on uh, and go over to the bench <coughs> so <coughs> First of all, if you can hear uh, some singing in the background, that would be the wife watching the telly. Um, it's children in the evening tonight, so obviously she's, uh, she's got her eyes on that. So let's just uh, see if we can zoom you in and touch in. So, these are the bot grinder motors. Now, as I was saying, they've got a couple of extra legs on the top. Now normally, the standard hype trains only have three. So you have one there and another one about here and one on the back, whereas in the bot grinder ones we've got five, so I suspect that the bell itself is going to be a little bit stronger, um, which is hence why I went with these. Um, also the base plate, this, this is a little bit thicker than the standard ones as well from what I can gather. Um, so due to that, you know, hopefully it should uh, last a little bit longer as well. Uh, incidentally some specs on it, this is a 2450kV motor and it's a 2306 um, I haven't really flown 2306s, I did have a set of Brother Hobby ones uh, a while back but there was, I had issues with the Brother Hobby ones and the bearings were awful in them so due to the fact of that I've uh, decided to obviously try and steer clear of them so I'm uh, going with these now instead uh, incidentally, bot grinder, the colour on these is fantastic and I like all the lines on the top as well, it's a seriously nice looking motor. Um, <coughs> anyway, back to the specs, it's 2306 which means it's 23mm in diameter or width uh, and then the height of it is 6mm on the stator. Uh, <coughs> it has a 5mm hollow shaft, so 5mm I think it's titanium looking at it, I might be wrong, but oh, I might be wrong, but I think it's titanium. Um, so yeah, it's a 5mm shaft, which is standard these days, it's rated for 3 to 5S, but I reckon if you go down a bit on your props, you could possibly get away with 6 to be fair. Uh, and the whole pattern on the bottom is a 16 by 16 instead of a, the normal one which I think is 16 by 20 off the top of my head. Weight wise, I will just get the scales out and then hopefully these will work and they'll zero etc etc. Well, they haven't zeroed yet. Come on. There we go. Right, so put the motor on. And that is 35 grams, including the wire. I'm 36 now. So it's not a, a massively light motor, but it's not really heavy either, to be fair. So <laughs> that's the weight of them. Um, power wise, I've been told by a good source that with a 5x4, 3x3, it'll pull about 1200 kilograms. The only gripe I've got 
the only issue I've got with this motor is the f frames that I normally fly, I've normally got 5mm arms on uh, and due to that the screws that come with it are 5mm incidentally so they're of absolutely no use because they will not go through the, f the arm on the frame so if you could see it past the see past it bot grinder and put some 6mm ones in as well that would uh, would help out a great deal as soon as I had to start faffing about in my random box of bits to try and get screws so I can mount these um, but other than that that's realistically about the only problem I've got with it you know generally it's it's a good looking motor it should have tons of power I measured it beforehand and the wires are 110 mil in length from the heat shrink all the way to the tip uh, obviously this was this was mounted before to my quad but I've had to take it back off because for some unknown reason the footage didn't save on the camera which wasn't an ideal shall we say this is the second time I'm doing this video um, but yeah generally nice motor should have plenty of punch by the looks of it if you hold up and wait till the till the main flight video of this quad I, I will obviously link that in the description of this video so you can see what they go like um, but yeah generally they're a nice motor they've got good construction they feel strong the bearings feel good in them the magnets feel good in them they're a 2450 kV uh, they're a 2306 in size and 16 by 16 hole pattern on the bottom incidentally if you want some of them soft mounts to go underneath them I will link in the description to my Thingiverse account which I've just made these before so in which case they fit perfectly on the bottom for soft mounting if my camera ever decides to focus right, there we. so you can soft mount them as well and if you want soft mounts for a 16 by 16 then you can always jump onto my Thingiverse account and there'll be a set on there as well as a few other bits for this frame I hope you found that informative um, thanks very much for watching uh, as I've stated in previous videos you know I have a Patreon uh, so it'd be nice if you know people want to join up to that and possibly throw me a couple of quid a month I will be doing a giveaway on there shortly um, for the Runcam Split 2 well the Split 2S with the Wi-Fi module uh, that'll be getting done after I've done a review of that and yeah uh, happy flying cheers guys bye